My darlings, we are back to paint again and if this is not gonna rock your boat then I'm not too sure what else could I offer you to encourage you to actually grab your paints and paint. We're not gonna even need a brush I think, only your hands, your fingers, that's what we will use to paint. So it's a great technique for kids, for adults, for advanced painters, for beginners, it doesn't matter. Just grab your paints and acrylic paints and that's it and let's do something super fun, easy and very pretty I hope. Enjoy. I do have all sorts of paints, uh, Delusions, Amsterdam, Paper Artsy, uh, Tiger paints, I even had Ducraft. Uh, so it doesn't matter what paints you have, how much you paid for them. Don't look at the brands, grab some collection of yours. I'm sure you have some, even if you have a school uh, paints from your kids. Actually I'm gonna grab a school paints that I got from Rain. Hmm, maybe it's a good opportunity to use that and to see whether we could actually, and these are from Dollar Store, uh, Dollar Tree, this is, I don't know, I have never opened it, it's I believe black or grey or something like that, um, black, yes indeed, I'm not too sure we will, no we will use black, we will actually later on, yeah. <clears throat> So we have a black paint uh, from Crayola Project, Crayola Project and we have some finger paint it's called for kiddos. Haha, <laughs> we will try that. Maybe they're not gonna work but I believe it will. So <clears throat> also this is some red paint I believe. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'll just press that and hopefully this will open up. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty color. Wow, it's like, it's not pink, it's not red, it's this coral color, I think I would call it. Gorgeous, okay. So what we will paint today? We will paint some bouquet of flowers and we will use our hands, uh, simple, fun, easy, I hope, and something for you to, um, if you think you've no skills, it's for, wow, sorry for uh, sidetracking my thoughts, but this is a very nice consistency so far. <laughs> At least it looks uh, nice. I, I didn't try it, but it looks nice. Okay, I'm, I'm very careful and gentle with it. So I hope I'm gonna mix all sorts of paints from super cheap to more expensive ones and see what will happen. Uh, inspiration behind this is my mom today, actually. One of my very first canvas I ever did was a beautiful bouquet. Um, it was mixed media canvas, canvas that had 3D flowers elements and a beautiful pot thing that it was, the flowers were there. Bigger canvas than this. And I wanted to sell it. That was when I only started my journey. It never got sold, but the person that had it in the store closed down, never gave me back anything, none of the canvases, nothing. I lost all my projects that time. And I, I really don't mind that, but this particular project was a favorite of my mom, always. She was always saying that. I made sure that on my Facebook page, so check it out. Check it out, Maremi's Small Art Facebook page. I will, ch I will share that for you, because I have a, a photo where Emily is holding to see the size. It was gorgeous. So this is inspiration behind it. It's my mom. Uh, many times she asked me, why do when I didn't know what to do. Sorry for chats instead of painting, but I think it's nice to share that story. She many times asked me, Marta, why don't you paint a, like a flower thing in the vase? And I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And today I thought, you know, mom, I think the time came. So I'm gonna uh, put some paints out. Few of those, few of so different colors you can't see. Let me just move that closer to you, friends, so you will see it. And I'm mixing the more expensive paints, cheaper paints, it doesn't matter. Whatever you have, shake your paints as well if they're more liquidy. Whatever you have, just use, and we will use them all. We will do a beautiful, colorful, uh, beautiful, colorful. Um, painting I hope and again I didn't work on canvas for ages I didn't paint on canvas probably for ages or never I wouldn't be surprised if never and 
I'm doing that on canvas so you can see that I hope when it's finished that you will feel that it's a great way of creating a, a, a nice gift for someone if it's gonna work <laughs> hopefully it will because you know yourself um, I, I you know me I don't plan I don't do trials <laughs> I'm going with the flow like now and yes that's exactly what I'm doing go with the flow Marta you be fine <laughs> uh, your mom is behind you in this project because literally I'm thinking about her um, maybe I give it gift it to her she's not gonna watch the video she does watch it but obviously she doesn't listen to me because she's no English so she hardly understands what I'm talking no she never understands what I'm talking and now I'm thinking one more color which is nice blue I'm thinking to also use the de use delusions and oh whoa, whoa, ho, ho, ho. that is a uh, that is interesting shape of a paint pink sprinkled on my page uh, I'm thinking to do the vase is it the vase you know the the the, the where, where we hold our do you know what I will do I basically will make like a little sketch maybe just if I find my pencil just just a tiny I have a tiny bit of sketch just to technically see um, whether this is something that we love or not yeah the other canvas was bigger so my pot pot was bigger and it was nice so the idea is to have flowers all over in the vase kind of idea you know like a bouquet of flowers that makes sense that kind of way we we shall see this is only a rough sketch just just to start just to see what we can do uh, with it and I'm gonna dip in my fingers into paint and I will basically try to paint with my finger and create some circles as you can see and if it's more paint that's okay don't worry if it's uh, I'm changing my finger if it's like a lot of paint that's fine because then it's it drying in the meantime but at the same time uh, you can nicely mix it if you have enough fingers <laughs> I'm swapping my finger yet again don't be precise please relax and I dipped it in different blue with a dirty finger so it's okay uh, relax just enjoy the moment of this fun creative moment where nothing is important except what you're doing right now it would be nice to use another finger which is hard for me to do this is kiddos paint and it's 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 working absolutely fine guys it really does now I will need to clean my fingers I can't go like that for ages so in two seconds I'm gonna wipe off my wipe off my fingers with a tissue wet, wet tissue maybe because I wish to I'm thinking to uh, go over with a smaller smushes of a family color so for example pink one could go nice here to this one and create smushes of color which could be nice same for here maybe and then what about this ah oh, that's nice P another blue mm -hmm. that is nice that is so nice I have not dipped in uh, put out white paint which would be nice for a mix again on all sorts of colors white is always good and this will create this lovely delicate feeling for our project so as you can see I'm not really bothered with the shape I'm not that much worried I'm trying to see if we can experiment a little bit like having our 
having our um, what's the word circles being less circles I'm just out loud thinking you know just out loud thinking just to see where this will take us will it take us anywhere mmm I like that now I think we should think of uh, to sh we will add the middle part later on when everything is dry and we kind of will try to make circles being circles I'm thinking that it would be good to add most definitely some color in between like like a smaller little flowers maybe somewhere in between you know or leave the space for a green because we need some we need some green for leaves isn't it mm-hmm now maybe a real green green would be nice to add and this is the kiddos paint kiddos paint I have to say this looks quite interesting quite interesting so far very abstract very abstract <laughs> and I like that I really do like that well oh, no you went too far mister no that's nice I like that I will stick probably with the I need a clean tissue I will stick with the original original idea which is having um, circles as a main um, shape for my flowers I think I love that how nice and interesting this looks now super mm-hmm <laughs> sometimes mixing the color and not really cleaning it's interesting as well it's not cleaning your your um, finger what about adding a different color like purple like this purple maybe would that be nice like uh, <clears throat> maybe oh super that's a lovely color Purple, 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 purple. That's nice. Now we could add some different colors around for sm bigger smooshes for our, like a smooshes of different colors for our um, kind of rosy looking flowers. Mm hmm. That's nice. Like a kind of. Oh, that looks more like a flower now, no? Yes. <laughs> no, yes. And you know what? I'm using the kiddos paints uh, and they're fabulous. They really are fabulous. Now, I love, totally love my blue flowers that I have altered now. Adding the smooshes and the paint is much bigger. As you can see, it's much, much intense and thicker as well. And uh, well, let me grab what would be nice with the yellow, really. We can stick with what is there because it's nice. But maybe orange. Would we have some orange somewhere? Let me. Oh, we do have orange delusions, actually. I'll see if this will be something nice. Oh yes, gorgeous, oh really, really gorgeous, oh that is so pretty, so pretty, I love that, I love that, <laughs> smooshes are of orange for those roses and we have this really nice lines, now we also have our beautiful purple 
we could add this purple from Delusions. Ah, this is, I should add some water to it. But that's okay. Or, what about, maybe instead, I'll add a tiny bit of this purple. Yeah, that's it. That's much nicer. Much better now idea. And I think I'm gonna alter the pinkish one too and make this contrast kind of to them. Mm hmm <clears throat> Super. I like that very much. We will also add white in a minute and black maybe for contrast. But for now this looks pretty good to me. I'm not the happiest with my green elements. I really think I could actually stick with my brush and do some nice things. I'm thinking to color my vase first maybe and maybe this color would be nice. Teals shades of teals <laughs> I think it's lovely it is really nice already shades of teal mm -hmm. and using fingers is so easy and so satisfying and just very relaxing I have to say as well very relaxing now if you hear some bit of noise in the background it's Friday so family is around me now when I record so if you hear anything it's them <laughs> it's them oh I love that now I love that I'm gonna clean wipe my finger again and I think I will most definitely do a little bit of um, like a swirly stuff with my brush. Um, I also think it could be nice to basically add touches and like little dots of this bright green from Delusions. I think it's really nice and it will be nicer than the green I've added here. So I'm not fan of this turquoise for leaves basically. I'm thinking to get rid of that bit a little bit <laughs> and here and just stick with some stick with some different green that will match the rest basically I'm thinking and it just looks more like a leaf color because this one wasn't really that much leafy not that much leafy so I think this will look much nicer so I will fill in most of my kind of holes here and I hope to dry my canvas and then I will come back to you and we do a little bit of outlining maybe a little bit of outlining for just a nicer effect I guess and making sure that our flower stands out and we can recognize them as flowers Mm, this is how it looks uh, right now when I added all this lovely green which I think uh, filled it in the rest and it looks really nice. Now we need a little bit of white, a little bit of black for definition, outlining, for contrast. I think, I'm not too sure but I'm gonna try it and I'm using yet again a Crayola project uh, so quite cheap paint as far as uh, Rain told me and she this was the idea basically when she sent it to me she wanted me to try out something that it's not um, very much uh, branded and see the quality so I have to say you know what if you have your kids paints just go for it just use them and relax and be fine you'll be fine I tried to mm, dry it most of the canvas it didn't work fully because um, some parts are very um, much thick so few few elements are still wet but that's okay and now I'm thinking to maybe add little dots oh someone is ringing on the Skype 
and that could be my mom and <laughs> my dad uh, let me just stop the video for two seconds sorry so let's keep on adding uh, little black dots I think they're really nice really nice inside of our flowers and just a little touch and I think it just makes it look more like a flower <laughs> or something so yeah and I also will add now touches of white to my blue flowers maybe and maybe this will be just nice if I'll do little white smooshes at least I try because the paint is still wet so it's not that easy to do so but I'll try I'll try to make this more uh, delicate and whitish here inside the middle parts mm -hmm. now I like that I really love that I really do now what about if we just add touches of like white um, white dots this time? Will this be something nice? Mm -hmm. And maybe white where the purple is would be nice as well. There we go. Mm -hmm. Super. I like that. I think I heard my bones. <laughs> Did you hear my bones? I'm standing always when I create. I wonder if you stand or you sit. I always stand. Even when I do life classes, I barely sit. I sit when it's the end of the weekend and I'm really so extremely tired <laughs> that if I will stand one more minute, I'll faint. So that kind of... that's how I do it. <clears throat> yes, that's that's how I uh, see. I just see things better when I stand. I guess that's that's kind of why why I do it. I'm thinking to do splashes, of course. Why not? But in a minute, I will keep on thinking where to add. Will I add <clears throat> some lines, some smooshes around to make this more flowery? And interesting at the same time as you can see this is really easy and fun technique for everyone to to try at least I I try to encourage you and tell you that this is something you can really do you really can try and sometimes simple things <laughs> can be much more troublesome than the uh, than the difficult ones but I'm, I, I think you will enjoy that and that's the main thing that's the main uh, idea I wish you to get from this today you will enjoy <laughs> so grab your paints and don't wait now I'm thinking to maybe add some white here maybe just just to create a little bit of more nice shading be nice maybe <clears throat> mm -hmm. that is nice I like that I like that super what do you think <laughs> do you like that do you love it um, maybe we could do something more interesting. What about some black lines? How about them? Or would that be a total wrong idea? I think we could chance it and see. This could be quite interesting, no? I think so. I think so. Let's try and see. Will this be... Mm, that's not too bad. I think it would be nice to do a bit of shading with a, maybe a charcoal pencil when this is dry. 
just to do a little bit of shading I think it would be nice and again I'm having this uh, cheaper brand charcoal I will use them and see oh I have to first do the the, the thing first two seconds um, I will add some smooshes of uh, some touches of uh, this charcoal but it does not smoosh that well what's the problem whether it's the uh, the pencil itself or it's just not works for it what about if I use a little bit of wipe oh it's washing off my my actual lines and maybe this is the idea maybe this is what I should do actually look maybe this is it maybe this is our answer to make this more I don't know I don't know I did like the idea of this being very much um, very much visible but we can try and see we can fix it if we don't like it because I'm not too sure how I feel about it right now <clears throat> I'm not too sure but I'm I, actually um, what's the word I am a little bit tempted to, tr to try something different and that something different is my marker maybe how would that be? let me dry this first I think I found my perfect solution because the, uh, the idea of brush was too thick for me it just was not working but now since my uh, marker is very delicate I prefer that just touches really than um, than the, those harsh lines I, I have to say so this works better for me now the other thing is um, I think it would be nice to maybe add touches of uh, some bit of you know interest let's call it just interest to our actual painting <laughs> and it's nice just like that simple nothing nothing too fancy you know nothing too fancy unless you really want to go over it and make this more visible and stand out right now you may as well do so and repeat that this is a uh, drawing it's from eBay basically and it's permanent uh, and you buy a set for fairly cheap they come from China so we can have a look at them I really am happy with them I can highly recommend those I had all different brands but those works great for me really great okay now this is what we have so far I'm thinking what else what else what else to finish off uh, and I think splashes would be one thing which is nice but I wonder if I should leave the white background or should I do something else I think for a change I'm gonna leave background as it is uh, but I think I'm gonna add some splashes and maybe some something more here let me think mm, I also have those things those are fluorescent markers I got them from eBay for a trial and believe it or not I have never ever tried them yet I have no idea how good or bad or amazing they are but I think I'm gonna grab the white and see and see how is that gonna be yeah. um, you had to shake a lot and then well for a minute or so and then press it press it until the pigment goes down and look at that it looks really fabulous really really fabulous and it's a poster one so it does paint on a lot of surfaces as we can see right now very impressive I just found them on the uh, on eBay by accident I just somehow found them ordered them and thought you know what I'm gonna try it I have a green as well look it's nice very uh, shiny indeed but yeah just something different use your imagination grab oh I didn't 
have a proper pigment on everywhere. Just grab your uh, tools, work with them differently, just use your imagination, don't be afraid. You can do so much, you can do so much, you know. Okay. I think I will only finish off with the the pity the, the pens, them ones. It's called Pop Art. Oh, this is... I have to put it back. Pop Art, fluors and markers, water-based, easy to wipe off. Uh, writing on glass, unknown sir. Anyway, pity that there is no black in it, but there is white, and it looks very good to me. I wouldn't be myself <clears throat> if I wouldn't add some dots. So we have to have some <laughs> dots, of course, to finish off. And yeah, <laughs> dots are good for things. Now I'm trying to see whether in between I can just add. Mm, the, the painting should be dry before I attempt anything, isn't it? <laughs> but this is me. Okay, I'm gonna leave that before I destroy my my pretty white. I'm gonna leave that, and I think I can call that done. I really think, feel I can call this. Oh, that's a good idea. Now, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm really impressed with that. Uh, no plant painting. Something for you to try. I really wanted to create something that will be approachable for everyone and it's not going to be scary and it won't take m massive amount of time and not that many tools really because all those finishing touches you don't have to do them. It was pretty and nice without it. So thanks so much guys for watching, I hope you had fun and I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial for today and I hope um, if you feel like sharing that with your friends it would be absolutely wonderful. I would love to hear your opinion as always, it means the world to me. So thank you so much for your time, for being here, for supporting my channel and myself and my work and for all the kindness and love because I feel it. So till the next time guys, thank you so much, bye! Bye bye!